It's a, a perfect collaboration tool for design and engineering to work together to really understand componentry and the design of a beautiful product. Let's, let's bring in something really cool to look at. So this is a McLaren uh, 720S, and it's a pretty good looking car. Let's, let's check out the inside. Now before you go any further, hey Sean. Yep. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> so as we're going through, give me a second here. So no, notice the car paint. The, the car paint is the model of the original car paint, the carbon fiber, the materials of it is modeled, the rubber of the tires, the aluminum frames. It's a new technology called MDL, Material Description Language. It allows us to model physically. Notice, notice the leather on the dashboard. It's just, it looks like leather. It's the original, all of it is measured and characterized in this library. And so marble will look like marble, jade will look like jade. Aluminum looks like aluminum, gold looks like gold, and plastic looks like plastic. And so there's a large collection of these material description languages in a library and so we simply assign it to the various geometries. Go ahead, Sean. <clears throat> so with that MDL technology, we can actually select different materials and change their parameters. So I have a material selection tool here, and that enables us to select the material we'd like to make an adjustment to, in this case, the car paint, and change the parameters. We can enjoy it in different types of materials and different finishes. Red's okay. okay. I really like the dark gray, though. But for some reason, green really catches my eye. Yes. And of course, you know, as a design tool, uh, there's much more that we can do besides just change materials. Let's take a look inside the car. So we're taking a, a clipping tool here that lets us actually go through the geometry, and we can cut through objects to enjoy every object <laughs> and every part of this design. Well, you can't do that in real life. I, I hear this is you know, much more challenging without the wall deck. So look, how, how many parts hey, are Hey, Sean, hey, Sean. Yep. Just, just move slowly, okay? The rest of us are, aren't in virtual reality. You got it. Yeah. You guys are enjoying computer graphics at 90 frames a second in your head mount displays. And we're looking at it through this projector probably running at 30 frames a second, so. Just be mindful of the, uh, of the passengers. Okay, keep going. So Sean, which one are you? Uh, you're looking at my view right now. Okay. Am I look, I'm looking through your view? Um, I'm right here. Okay. <laughs> and Igor, you're to the right? Yes, I'm here, yeah. <clears throat> Now you guys, you guys, of course, you are physically next to each other, but you can be physically next to each other if you want of course. to be, right? Absolutely. So we can be in three different countries and yet still have a fist bump. That's a virtual reality fist bump. And they could be in completely different countries and to completely different places on your campus. So and I, instead of driving from one end of Tel Aviv to the other, which probably takes about two hours, <laughs> you just put on your headset and enjoy it. We can all work together. So, should we take a second part? I think so. I think it's about time. All right. You guys gonna blow it up? We're gonna blow oh, it up. Oh, we're gonna blow it up. Slowly. Boom. Wow. Well, that's all the parts. What's down there? What's underneath? That's a mess of parts. There's a, a few of them. What is that? 30,000 parts? How many polygons? I think it's 15,000 polygons. Should we put that together? And so, as you can see, what, what makes computer graphics really beautiful, of course, the material has to look right. The subtleties of how light interacts with the material is really important. The shadowing, the lighting, um, also, sub, also subtle, and um, uh, and you can see that in the shadows, the soft shadows that are that are being casted, uh, the self shadowing of the car allows you to see the contour of the car. 
That's really cool. Hey guys, anything else? Hey, gents, what do you think of the holodeck? I mean, give us your take. Sababa. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Woo!